So I was really excited when I read that comment and then it became top comment. You guys will be shocked, but I can make Tong Yun myself, Chinese mochi. So I've just made these fresh and I'll tell you a little story. When I used to make them with my mum when I was a child, we used to use the last bits of the, the flour mixture and make different shapes. I used to really like this snake shape. So we made like snake shapes and like, you know, just played around with it. Um, I don't really like the peanut fill-in. I like the black sesame fill-in, but I didn't have any black sesame paste at home. So I've made them plain, which I really like as well. And when they're plain, I like them small so that they can all fit in my mouth and just fill my mouth with joy. Oh, that is good. That brings back so many memories. Thanks for reminding me. Chinese mochi, so good. Mm -hmm. That's the snake. Personalized. Mm -hmm. I've got another snake in there. My mum used to call it Sezai. Little snakes. Tong Yun. These are Tong Yun. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I find them really easy to make, so I made just the right amount for one portion. I'd be doing the most for you guys, you know? I don't usually cook like this and be in a kitchen pounding away but this is for you lot mm. that is beautiful guys thank you to the hundreds of you that reminded me of this and this is a ginger and brown sugar soup which complements like the thick stodginess it's just so good you have you guys have to try it and I recommend the black sesame filling inside. Anyway, I'll see you. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Peace. I hope you're enjoying your evening and having a good snack.